Hello everybody, welcome to my channel. This is Ravi and I am going to explain you today clinical SAS topic 39 that is SAS interview written test questions and answer. It is a part one. Soon I am going to uh, do some more parts about this written test question. Most of the interviews uh, if you are applying as a fresher or 2 plus 3 plus years of experience programmer they will conduct you a written test regarding the SAS how much knowledge you have base and advanced. So today I am going to explain you some of the important interview uh, questions and answers. Okay. Here the first question is you can see here this is the one type of question like you know data test and they will give you SAS user some employees if years of service is between 2 and 10 the amount will 1000 if it is greater than 10 it is 2000 otherwise the amount is 0 and the calculation is amount per year years of service divided by amount so the question is if the employee having the one year of year of service then what is the amount per year they will ask you this type of question so if you see one year is not you know a uh, part of any one like you know it is less than two so this is not belongs to the first one and second one it belongs to the third one so what happened amount is equal to zero and year of services equal to one one divided by zero is nothing but will get the missing value cannot divided by uh, something uh, divided by zero cannot divided by anything by zero right so we are getting the missing value for this answer so this type of questions may you find in the written test questions okay just you can check uh, where the year of service is pop uh, you know uh, lie between the which category and you can calculate the equation okay so the second question is you know you can see this type of questions you may also find in the uh, written test like you know 10 20 30 and they will give some value 10 means up to 10 length and 20 length 30 length you know here you can see up to 10 length they are giving some dollar 1234 so you can imagine that the txt file like this dollar 1234 value and they are giving like data test in file amount they we can import this text file to this uh, in files method and input at the rate 1 to salary 6 mean they are considering from the first position to so 6 character yeah they are considering this value and if underscore error underscore then description variable belongs to the problem observation otherwise the description variable containing the no problems observation then they will ask you what is the description value if the text file containing dollar one two three four and if you import this file to in file to your uh, data set what will happen you can see here if you i just import the value import the file from uh, my desktop and you can see we'll get some error because they contain dollar and we are giving some numeric format so automatically underscore error will get if underscore error underscore will populate then description equal to problems otherwise then no problems will populate the description observation so obviously underscore error was populated because that is a text value and we are using the numeric format so you will get the description observation you are getting problems here the third question is here the data text the same thing you have to import one txt file name and number if the the txt file is joy and xx these are the two different names and you know are divided by the space okay so name belongs to the joy and number belongs to the xx but name we are giving dollar symbol so obviously joy will consider as a name but number there is no number it is a character so what happened the number variable you are getting the dollar if you are giving the dollar symbol the xx variable is populated under number observations okay so and the fourth question is you can see which one of the following statement is true regardless of the sas automatic under underscore error underscore variable when the underscore error underscore variable is 
populated you know this is not on off value this is not a true or false value this is not automatically stored in the SAS data set right so this is a variable can be used to expression sign or calculations in the data step itself yeah, already we have seen underscore error uh, if present then description equal to problem or no problem question we already seen the same thing underscore error underscore is a variable can be used to expression or calculations in the data step okay and next question is you can see here which of the following statement in the data set procedure alter the name of SAS data set that we stored in the SAS library you can see here data set procedure alter the name of the data set you know uh, the only the statement change statement only that will alter the name of the SAS data set. rename option is used to variable renaming and modify and rename also variable related thing but the change statement is used to change the data set name itself you know proc data set in the library some library if you are renaming the library in the permanent case so we can use the change statement okay and the sixth interview written test question is for example percentage let depart one equal to percentage nrstr function and research and development and percentage let depart two variable assigned to research and development within open and close bracket so if you are writing the proc print procedure what is the result value you are getting this type of questions you may get in the written test question and if you use the function like nrstr function this will mask the special characters present in the string so directly if you are using nrstr function for research and you can see the special character this will mask and this will not reserved as a macro variable directly what you are giving the directly automatically printed to the title one statement in the title two statement if you are giving like this this ampersand development research and development you can see the develop ampersand development if you are assigning any macro statement that was reserved as a macro variable and you can see research and on time this ampersand development assigned to some other on time variable so this will resolved as research on time variable so this ampersand variable is resolved here and this ampersand resolve was not resolved due to using the nrstr sas macro functions okay and the seventh question is which one of the following option control the page size of sas data set you can see the page size and etc things if you are using in the proc report section that will alter the output size but if you want to uh, control the page size of sas data set you can see buff size statement you can option is used to control the sas data set using the buff number and buff size equal to state system option to control the buffer number and size of the sas data sets okay and the eighth question is the following sas program is submitted you can see proc sort data equal to sales and tag sort by month and year run which of the result resource tag sort option reducing what is this tag sort option will use only this temporary disk uses for personally this option was we can use okay the ninth question is if you see here percentage let value 9 value 2 value 5 and if you are divided by value by value 2 what the value if you are using percentage evolve function you can see evolve function only deals with the integer value not the decimal floating value if you are divided by 9 divided by 5 how much you are getting 1 point something you are getting but by using the percentage evolve function they will only calculate the integer value of the particular string if you are using sys evolve f that will uh, deals with the floating values like 1.6 1.7 1.8 that is different but in case if you are using percentage eval value only the integer value is you know uh, displaying in the macro resolve okay and the tenth question is for example this is a first data set one this containing group and sum variables and if you are using calls input group num by using the group variable group macro variables you can resolve the sum values like ampersand a resolve to 760 by 765 ampersand b resolve to 123 
ampersand c resolve to 564 you can see by using the calls input method these macro variables are created and the values you know populated to uh, each one like each a belongs to 765 b c okay by using calls input method and next question is you can see test one data set a equal to 3 b equal to a double star b how the value is we are getting if you use the uh, percentage let c okay so how the value are this is a exponential exponential operator so a value 3 into 3 how much 3 we are getting 9 2 into 2 into 2 like you know 2 into 2 4 like not like that a exponential value 3 a means 3 3 whole square 2 3 3 is are 3 into 3 9 so the value we are getting 9 so the double star is not belongs to the multiplication it is a exponential operator okay and the next question is you can see here gender m f f m name is john sangeet mary and richard and frederick okay so if you are giving where name like ampers uh, underscore capital m percentage what is the value here you are getting in the data set okay see the second name the second name any m letter is present no so there is there is no value is present like operator acts as a case sensitive and above table there is no word whose second character of the capital name is f so there is no results was present in the output data set okay if the second letter is containing capital m word then only the word will pick it into the data set okay and the third in question is you can see here the test shoe sets has helped that class class and BMI you are calculating and where BMI greater than or equal to 20 in this case you are getting the error why because here you are creating the BMI variable and he, here the down statement you use the BMI statement once the BMI if you are using where statement first of all the string will go and search the variable is present is not here you are creating but before it is where statement was executed that time BMI was not created so that's why that will give you error by how can we avoid this error if you use it if statement so obviously after BMI creation the if statement is worked and producing the proper output okay and the 14 question for example if you see here name we have only six characters seven characters like that if you are using sub str function up to one to nine here only we have one to six or seven uh, what is the output and what is the log if you are using sub str function if the length of the particular string has less than what the length you are using so that time you are getting a note like involved statement here you are using one to nine but the character functions are you know less than the what you are using the string so you are getting some warning uh, not warning or error just note you are getting what the mistakes you are doing okay and the 15th question what is the purpose of underscore character and underscore numeric for example if you want to keep only character variables in the particular string just you can keep underscore character right in the data set if you want to create only numeric variable in the final data set just you can keep underscore name underscore also so the what are the numeric variables are there in the data set the final data set contain only that type of data set okay you can see proc means underscore varac underscore proc means underscore and name underscore if you want to analysis only character variables or want to analysis only character variables and numeric variables just you can use those those variables and next question is what is the difference between the proc means and proc summary this is the most important question every interview they may ask you this question and proc means this procedure produce the printed report by definition of output window if you are using the proc means procedure default output generate in the output window this procedure include the print in the statement to produce a printer report okay the proc means by default take all the numeric variables in the analysis but the proc summary variables into statement into the statistical analysis that was described in the var statement only that will take in the for the analysis and the 17th question 
which commands use it to save logs to the external file for example uh, we don't have any macro just want to export our log to our summary text uh, data text file how to uh, export our complete log to text file so by using proc print to statement at the end of every program and give the path and the file name text file name which you want to store your log into the text file and give the path so all the log should be stored by using proc print to procedure in the 18th question what are the system options to debug the any SAS macro while using the SAS procedures you will get so many errors or warnings or some complications you may get so how to debug this one by using debugging options like mlogic, mprint, symbolgen these are the options you can mention in the initial step of SAS macro so everything was stored as saved and show in the log what are the value it was resolved what is the error what is the warning you are getting for this uh, macro while using this debugging option you can resolve the queries present in the macros and then it question which function is used to count the number of interval between the two data sets okay interval functions int ck int ck function is used to counting the number of interval between the two given data set for example int ck function also if you want to increase the month two months or three months in a particular value so you can use a intc function also and if you want to calculate the last date of every month that time also you can use the intc function and if you want to increase one year or two years for the particular value by using intc function you can increase the value particular time period here you can see the syntax like interval start period and end period how much interval you want okay and last question is explain why double trailing is used in input statement in written test question they will ask you what is the use of double trialing method you know during the data step irritation iteration including double trial in input statement implies the SAS function should hold the current record the purpose of execution to the next input statement rather than switching into the new record for example so many lines are there in the data step method if you are uh, providing everything in the one row and if you are using double trialing method after the variable name that will automatically hold the line and goes to the next line to print the uh, and count the observation values okay So if you like this uh, all the written test question and if you want to learn the real time clinical SAS project like HDTM, ADAM and TLF so you can contact the below numbers I will give the uh, clinical SAS real time course training it is a 28 days 1 hour per day and uh, Monday to Friday we will provide you the project and videos as well as books this it is a real time data and will give you the job support also you can uh, contact this you know, email id or this numbers for enroll to uh, my clinical SAS training details the course containing end to end like i am giving you one project and explain everything in front of you write the scratch code from starting to end like sgtm coding adam coding and how to generate the tlf everything i will explain you in detail in 30 to 35 classes okay so if you are interested please enroll into the below sites okay thanks for watching this video please subscribe my channel if you like my videos thank you